Good afternoon, Apollo Baptist Church family. This is Pastor Brian. This is the last day of May, and although we're concluding our Who's Your One series, I pray that you would continue to put all of your energy into sharing the gospel with other people. Uh, I pray that you would continue to have those connections, make those connections, to have those gospel conversations that would hopefully lead to conversions. Uh, if you're following the news, I'm sure you're aware of, of all the hurt that's going on across our nation right now. Uh, people who are hurt uh, because of the violence that's taking place, um, the, the looting that's going on. And, uh, you know, when I look at those, those people out there, I can't help but think that uh, we, as believers, have the solution to the hatred problem. Uh, and, and the solution is Christ, right? Making him the Lord of your life. It's that word Lord that I want to share with you today is another name of God. It's the name Adonai. I'm sure you've probably heard the name Adonai. It means Lord. It means master. Um, in uh, Genesis chapter 15, uh, Abraham said he believed in Adonai and it uh, it was accredited to him as righteousness. Um, you know, <laughs> It is impossible, I think, to know Christ as our Savior without knowing him as our Adonai, as our Lord. And uh, when we truly make Christ the master of our life, it's kind of impossible to look down on other people, right? Uh, racism is impossible. Hatred is impossible because, uh, because we are all subservient to uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It reminds me of the story of Queen Victoria when she was um, going to, to listen to Handel's Messiah. And of course, if you've ever been to Handel's Messiah, you know that traditionally when it comes to the Hallelujah Chorus, that people will usually stand. And uh, Queen Victoria's advisors told her that the Queen of England, it wouldn't be appropriate for her to stand during that point. Queen Victoria had quite a mind of her own, and when it came to the Hallelujah Chorus, and she heard that majestic, uh, that majestic uh, composition, and uh, that the, the Lord Omnipotent reigneth, she uh, she stood and she bowed her head, which was really a shocking thing for people to see, as though Queen Victoria was taking up her crown and setting it below the crown of Christ, uh, because she understood what it meant that Christ be Lord, our Adonai. Um, there's so many people who are hurting out there that need Christ as Lord of their life. I, I pray that uh, not only would you continue to share the gospel, but also support the men and women who are sharing the gospel across North America by giving to the Annie Armstrong uh, offering. Michelle and I had the privilege uh, of uh, of giving to this offering this year. And I pray that you would uh, ask God what you could give sacrificially to support our men and women on the front lines. Uh, I love you all. Y'all have a blessed day and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.